Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy Free, and it is election time. Uh, let's see if I get re-elected into office in the UK. Um, now the economy is like booming, and uh, it turned out to be really good. Um, your activist turnout boost. Interesting. Let's start counting. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a close one. A really close one. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. But holy moly, look at that. 40% of people don't want to vote. That That's shocking. Well. I think I think I, I deserve all of that fireworks. Let's begin the next term. Achievement unlocked, legitimate leader. You have managed not to only win the election, but to take a majority of the entire electorate with you, leaving no doubt that you are this country legitimate leader. Yay! Electoral success. I've been elected for another term. Filibustering. You certainly have the stamina for politics. You've been working away in your office for so long now that it's almost time to start a next day's work. Whatever. Homelessness is at an end. Look at that. This is like friggin' utopia. Damn it. That's people smuggling. A large number of fuel have been caught entering our country, hidden inside cargo containers in an organized attempt at people smuggling. The criminals who masterminded the scheme have been arrested. Now there's a debate as whether those people who are now on our shores should be sent back. Well, allow them to stay. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, <sighs> unemployment going down. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. GDP. Oh, that's beautiful. Good. Good, 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 good. That is really good. Um, what does the... Oh, wait. There's no threat assessment? Oh, look at that. Nobody's want... Nobody wants to kill me. I'm really happy about that. Um, that hasn't happened in a long time. 50 billion surplus. Woohoo! Happy, happy, happy weasel. Um, technological advantage. I don't like that. What is that? Technology going up. Good. Let's see. I mean, paying back debts is a good thing. But, 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 but. Let's make sure to um, use that to further improve our country and just pay a little bit back um, um, to improve. The situation, like like build a strong foundation for things. Okay, um, economy, mm. maternity leave, consumer rights, organic farming. <laughs> nope, uh, nope. Um, recreational drugs tax. Nope. School tax, health tax, junk food tax. Huh. Nah, not now. Health tax credits, a system of tax reductions and credits designed to encourage people to spend their money on private healthcare in order to reduce the tax liability. This booth healthcare without involving the state running hospitals or employing doctors, but its effect is limited to those people in society earning enough to pay tax in the first place. It costs a lot of money. That's shockingly much. I'm not doing that. Microgeneration grants. Yes, I want to implement those, definitely. Um... CO2 emissions are going down. Everyone likes it. That's good. It costs a little bit of money, but um, it should improve the environment because that is still... A th oh my god, what happened here? Oh my god, what happened here? All the asthma. All the asthma. Um, yeah, environment does a thing. Uh, car usage. Yeah, we're gonna work on the car thing. Um, so, rail subsidies. This is the thing we're doing now. We're gonna put some more money in these. Uh, let's go to maximum. Yeah, let's do that. And um, gotta do something about traffic. Um, yeah, motorists. What are you gonna do? Drive over me with that car? Credit rating is now BB. That's good. Pollution has developed. Yeah, it's a problem. I gotta do something about that. I think I reduced. I think I reduced something here. Um, this thing. The pollution controls. Uh, since it's going to go now, we're going to go to restrictions and fines. Move it up here or all the way. Yeah, it's hurting the GDP too much. It's still like this. Apply. Okay, that's good. Um, cars, streets, whatever. Um, bus lanes are at a maximum. Let's see if we can implement something about um, that. Public services. We should do that as well. Technology colleges. Adult education. First transport. <sighs> bus subsidies. Um... Free bus passes, clean fuel subsidy, car emission limits, new car subsidies, car pooling campaign. Okay, a car pooling campaign. Totally doing that at a maximum. Yes. I want people to share cars. That's a good thing. 
There's no reason to not promote that. Uh, bicycle subsidies. That's an interesting one. To switch from car to bike. Financial motivation is sometimes needed. Um, easy and cheaper for people to buy bikes. Result of more people actually using a bike instead of driving a car staying inside. Yeah, thing is mm, because you got... Okay, we got a cycling campaign and bicycle subsidies together. That could be interesting. We should do that. Bicycling campaign at a maximum. Let's just try this. Um, this is not too expensive, um, but it will cost a little bit there. But as long as people like drive the bike, that's cool. I like it. Um, new car subsidies. Nah. Subsidized school buses. Tele telecommuting initiative. Um, fuel efficiency standards. Um, yeah, car emission limits. We could implement that. Free bus passes. Bus subsidies. Not now yet. Um, kind of. We we kind of like like did not do anything here uh, on the public service front. So university grants. Although not all citizens will pursue university education, governments can provide subsidies to students to encourage a more educated workforce. Um, yes. University grants ensure equality of opportunity, as the absence of cost of a university education can be beyond the reach of working class families. Up to 12 billion. But, yeah, we're doing that. Um, grants for all. We're gonna do that. That costs 10 billion. Um, I see no one complaining, and we can afford it. We can afford it, so we're gonna do that. Free education for everyone. That's important. Market meltdown! Shit! <laughs> a crisis in confidence in overseas mortgage market has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. Big financial institutions are panicking. Great. Capitalists, they're not happy. Global economy crashed. Uh, the GDP took a big hit, but I hope it's still enough. Um, a deep recession. Holy shit! Oh my god. We still have a surplus, but that is going to cost a lot of money. That's bad. Okay. Um... I did not expect such a big hit right now. So, what to do about that? Let's see. I'm wondering if we can do something about that. I could reduce the taxes for governments, uh, for companies, but then again, Gonna risk it. Gonna risk it. Environmentalists, yeah, they're not happy. Mm. You kind of have a problem with the environment. Like, pollution is a big problem. Um, we already set that one thing into motion. Um, the pollution controls, they are high, but it takes a little bit to take in, uh, kick in. Um, I would love to set um, car emission limits. Um, I would love to implement those. I'm gonna do that. Um, hmm, interesting. Ban low miles per gallon cars? Low miles per gallon? I think that's that. A big street cruiser might look cool, but it's way too expensive and wasteful. Should be banned from the streets. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go with car emission limits. Um, that's more subtle, you know? Um, yeah, motorists are not gonna like that. So, um, the environment, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that too high, something like that. Okay, what else can we do to improve that? Um, wait, police prison, eh, what? What is that? The National Organized Crime Agency deals with the kinds of crime regular police have more difficulty with. Targeting organized criminals and infrastructure with crime. Nah, we don't need that. The needle exchange program. Drug addiction itself is bad enough already. And dirty or infected needles are an additional danger for drug addicts. To help out the needle exchange program will help the addicts to get clean needles for their needs. Yes, let's do that. Some people would say like, oh well, you're 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 supporting that. No, they're going to use friggin' needles anyway. Let's just like not give them each other AIDS, you know? They they can have free needles. Like And also that gives us access to them. They will come to us to get free needles and we can like, yeah, you know, you know you want help? And so, let's give them free needles. Holy moly, don't be such a bitch about this. Just just free needles. Whatever. Um, we got downgraded. Lovely, we're B again. Fine. <sighs> Unemployment goes up. I mean, there's a recession. GDP eh, stays pretty much the same. Health improves. 
Education. I would like to improve education. Um, gotta do something about that. Uh, they're concerned. Ah, the Buttonberg group again. What is their issue with me? I don't understand it. Uh, we have a little deficit, which is fine. Mm. Recycling. Ooh, look at that. We didn't recycle. Uh, we're gonna do that now. Um, we're gonna improve that as well. Uh, the clean energy subsidies. We're gonna spend more money on that. I don't care. We got just downgraded. I'm fine with like implementing more changes here. That's cool. Um, let's do some nice public service things. Um, something for our education. Um, wow, there's a lot of stuff we can do here. Keep the country tidy. Nah. Public religious broadcast. What? No. National anthems and schools. No. What is the ENDRA? The Ecological Natural Disaster Resilience Agency aims to protect the public and businesses from problems as flooding and wildfires. Um, not yet. What is that? The Civil Emergency Resilience and Response Task Force. Interesting. But nope. School vouchers. A measurement designed to encourage the growth of private schooling while still enabling to afford education. No. I don't want that. Technology colleges. Yes. Specialist schools with a focus on computer literacy, biotechnology, and similar subjects. State-run colleges receive special funding. You shall have it. Maximum. And also, if I can do, I would like to have public libraries. I'm still confused that we don't have those. But now we have them, and that's going to cost a lot of money. And people are not going to be happy about it. Um, but that's just a risk I gotta take. Ban animal testing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ban animal testing, especially for cosmetic products. Um, does it say that? Um, test any products on animals, especially cosmetics. Good. Yeah, let's let's ban that. I mean, if you're selling an eyeliner that kills people or has the potential to kill people, you should not produce it in the first place. You should like at least you know have an idea of what you put in there, you know, like, oh, this, 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 this element is killing people? This, this part usually kills people? Let's not put that in anyway, you know, just to be safe. I know it's not that easy, but then again. Education is going up, that's good. Good, 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 good. Um, let's just be, yeah, we need to fix that. <sighs> we need to deficit. It's a low deficit, I can deal with that. Um, probably not doing too much right now. Um... The petrol tax. Yeah, I'm not touching that for now. We could technically, we could, uh, a graduate tax. Really? We're gonna have a graduate tax. Um, so we're gonna tax people for finishing an education. No. Education is free as far as I remember. So, no. What the frig? It's like, oh yeah, you finished college, or whatever you just went to. Here, pay some money. No. Hybrid car initiative. I like it. People like it too. So I'm not doing it now. Um, I kind of want a plastic bag tax. Yes. Let's do a plastic bag tax. Bam. Um, maximum. Gives us a little bit of income. That's nice. Um, what else can give us a little bit of income? Without pissing off people too much. <sighs> okay, uh, punitive wealth tax. Nah. Um, I'm a, I'm all for like fair taxing. Um, government subsidies for this and that. No, no. Rent controls. No. No. Hmm. Wonder if there's something I can put in there. Free parenting classes, nah. Um, compulsory food, food labeling, interesting. There's plenty of food out there that's not healthy, but companies have found clever ways to obscure that by making it look extra tasty to put ingredients listed in small print. This is now with compulsory food labeling. All food must display all the ingredients and additives in it, making it easier for people to choose the food they want to eat while remaining healthy. Yes, implementing all of the stuff on it. I don't care. How is that affecting the GD friggin' P? People still gotta eat. You know? Like, and they're still gonna buy all your crap. Just, you know, whatever. Whatever. Can't help everyone. Um, what does this thing say? Um, well, I'm usually happy. That's good. 
glad to hear. What about border controls? Um, I'm not gonna touch that now. We have biometric checks. That seems just fair or fine. Let's just jump into the next turn and see how that turns out. Just see what happens. A volcanic eruption in Great Britain. Really? A large eruption of an active volcano with a name no one can pronounce is the latest in a chain of recent volcanic activity in this hemisphere. The combination of these has resulted in huge clouds of ash being released into the atmosphere. Although this volcano is quite far from us, weather patterns means it's expected that the ash could be over soon. Once it reaches our skies, this will grant all air travel, damaging tourism and business, and has the potential to hurt farmers' crop if it lasts. Let's not hope it does. <laughs> like volcanic ash cloud plus one. <laughs> Uh, we got upgraded again. Good, we're at BB again. Uh, health is at its maximum. Look at that. Education is going up too. I like it. GDP is going up. Everything's going up or down. Good, good. And 94% of people would vote for me. And there's a surplus. Wonderful. Let's do something with that surplus. Um, ban second home ownership. Really? We can't do that? Really? Why would we do that? Wow. With this policy, owning more than one house is outlawed and empty property will be seized by the government, greatly increasing social equality and giving more people a good home. Yeah, if I ever play that again, I'm gonna play it as a total douche nozzle and go, like, do all these things. Like, you know what? You can only have one home. Like, be total, a total dick. Compulsory work for the unemployed. Hmm. I like the idea. Um, it's a little bit radical, but for long-term unemployment, it's an interesting thought. But then again, I don't like the thought of like forcing someone to work just because he doesn't find work. Or maybe he's working on being self-employed. I don't know. I'm not doing that now. Mm. What are city farms? I always wondered. Many people would love to buy fresh produce from farmers directly, but living in the city, it is often a hassle to drive out to the countryside. Why not bring some farmers into cities? This program helps ambitious farmers to establish farms in or around cities so they can be close to their customers. Will some of the city's kids to consider a career in farming? What? No. Why? No. Don't. What? You can bring the goods to the city. Can't you bring, like, drive, like, the food there? Just an idea. Just like drive the food there. <laughs> anyway. Um, a work safety law. I think this is something we should implement now. Um, since we don't have that yet. Which is kind of sad. So I'm going to implement that now. And we're going to go to... Yeah. Like medium. I don't know why that hurts self-employment. But then again, you know. You can be self-employed. But it's really not suggest... I, I wouldn't suggest to die. While you do that, you know? Just at least be a little bit safe. Applied changes. It's more for uh, businesses exploiting people um, and letting them work at bad conditions. Okay, the environment. Not good. Why? Uh, needs to go down. How can we do that? With taxing air travel. Um, gambling. What? 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 How did that come up? Ooh, I have enough political capital to do that. To some, gambling is a sin which leads to poverty and disaster, but others believe that some social gambling is harmless fun which can also tax nicely by the government as an additional form of revenue. It also encourages tourism and create jobs. Don't we have gambling? Legalize... Okay, this, this stuff comes up more and more. This is interesting, or I didn't see it before. Um, are those things coming up after... They might? Interesting. Um, or it just didn't look properly. Um, I'd like to allow gambling. Legalized prostitution. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. Certainly. God, that's expensive stuff. Anyway, let's uh, legalize gambling. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Um, is there something where I can say, like, not everything? I don't know what the screen gives me as options, so... Uh, we have other problems. I kinda wanted to tax airlines. Um, because, you know, airline fuel has generally not been a subject to taxation. Supporters of airline fuel taxes insist that this is a result of an unfair subsidy on an environmentally destructive form of transport. That is true. That's why I'm putting money on it. Um, 60%. It's gonna, like, yeah, okay. Let's do 50%. Uh, it's gonna hurt GDP, air travel, tourism, and um, capitalists don't like it. But the environmentalists will like it. And, you know what, let's start with 40%. 
so I don't feel too bad. Anyway, we're gonna see what effects this has in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. It helps out a lot. And, th well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.